All right, so rhythmic movement was pull downs to the front. Explosive movement. One is shape. This is total mass. We got it. Okay, we'll go from here back to another rhythmic shape movement, which will be cable rolls. All right. So it's a method to the madness. Okay, we head back here. So you see what's happening here? You got rhythm, explosive. Gotcha. You got rhythm, explosive, or explosive, T-ball. Awesome. So how many sets would you recommend? I recommend no more than four. Four sets. Four. Three to four. Sets. That's right. All right. Sometimes you stop about three with, with cable. Sometimes I only go three exercises. Okay. But I always make sure that barbell row is a part of it, always. If you did nothing but barbell row, you gonna have a nice thick set of lats. Let me grab this black one over here. This is a rhythmic quality mass building movement, a combination of all of them. So first we did the cable, the pull downs, that shape, that's quality, but it's rhythmic because it's cable, cable driven. We went from there, then we went into the barbell roll, which is the mass building explosive movement. Now we're going back to another rhythm. So the deal is rhythm, power, rhythm, power. Okay. So we're here. You gotta make sure you get a good stretch first, like so. There we go. Go in, throw the chest forward and squeeze the back. There we go. All right. All right, your time, Paul. Here we go, baby. Let's, Let's make it happen. Very good. Good. Super. Okay, let's stretch your legs out a little bit more. We want to work the hamstrings too. Killing two birds with one stone. Exactly. Why not? There you go. Good form. Very good. Very good. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. All right, my man. That's good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Good. Good. Okay, so. All right. What we're going to do next, we're going to head to the back, rhythmic, now we're going back to another explosive movement, okay, for size and mass. Why are we using 25s instead of 45s? Well, let me guess, you can bring it higher up. I like that. Uh, That's good. See, most guys never think about that. Oh, a couple of weeks ago, I was, you know, working with this guy, and he said, well, let's do the 45s to look real impressive. I said, well, if you do that, you're going to miss around two to three inches of your lats being worked as far as the middle of the back. And he said to me, well, you know what? I never thought about that. I said, well, you wouldn't, amateur. So <laughs> anyway, we came back down to the 25s, got a better stretch, and was able to come up a little bit higher. So now, the same procedure that goes for the barbell row goes for the T-bar row. You want your lower abdominal area and your upper thigh to connect. So you take all of the stress out of the lower back. I watch a lot of guys do T-bar rows, they're like so. They're at an incline. You should be nice and flat. That's how Franco, the backs of the back, always flat. Okay? Basically, basics, old school. That's There's right. Nothing fancy here. That's right. You live longer. <laughs> when you're 50 like I am, you're not in pain. You can still walk. So, stretch, explode, stretch, explode, stretch, explode, stretch, explode, stretch, explode, stretch, explode. Stretch, explode. Uh. Woo! Okay. Okay. 
There we go. See, you tried to come up high, didn't you? There we go. Lean forward. There you go. Very good. Very good. Good. Stay low. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Old habit, isn't it? Good stuff. Feels yeah, great that's in good the stuff. hamstrings. Feel it mm -hmm. in the hamstrings. Mm -hmm. Upper lats. Yeah. Exactly where you're supposed to. Good movement. So, pull downs, barbell row, cable row, T bar row. Right. Sometimes you can substitute one arm dumbbell row instead of barbell row. Or one arm dumbbell row instead of T bar row. But the T bar and the barbell, those are your two mass building movements for thickness, uh, uh, quality in the middle of the back. You can't get better than those, okay? Excellent. So, how many reps would you recommend? What's the rep range like? Well, normally when you, we're training for mass and size, you're talking roughly around eight to ten reps. That's a good quality deal. I never go high reps, particularly with the explosive movements. I would go as low as is uh, six reps, but I never go higher than 10. Normally I stay around eight. Now on the cable movements, like pull downs or cable row, it could go around 12, right. 10 to 12. Sometimes for competition training, maybe go 15, but it's rare that I would go 15. Would you recommend doing lower back right after the upper, like actually right after lats or Totally separated the two. Well, lower back for, for the most part is going to be hyper extensions. I generally would do that after lats uh, when I have a little gas left, or sometime I would do it on the day in which I would train hamstrings. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what's your thoughts on uh, deadlifts? Deadlifts, stiff leg deadlifts. I do those after, you know, part of my hamstring workout. Okay. Leg curls first, then I finish up with stiff leg deadlifts. I don't do regular power deadlifts. I'm not a power lifter. Yes. So I do deadlifts cosmetically to lengthen the hamstrings and create fast twitch fiber mass here and also add thickness to the lower back. Excellent. So awesome. gotta be very careful. We're not power lifters. So uh... So it's mind-muscle connection, right? Mind-muscle okay. connection. Yeah, that's you right. Let the muscle work. You don't have to lift crazy weight. You don't have to lift crazy. The form and then the yeah. Stimulate not annihilate. Exactly. Okay? <laughs> all right. That's good. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right, all right.